This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Emery Waller on today's global stunning new pictures just released from NASA. The images reveal the deepest look at the cosmos ever captured. The pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope give us a snapshot from 600 million years after the Big Bang. We're seeing light that has journeyed for over 13 billion years to reach us. It's almost like a time machine. You're looking back into the far distant past. Our other main headline, the leader of the Islamic State group in Syria has been killed in a US airstrike, according to the Pentagon. Also on today's Global, a BBC investigation reveals a troubling pattern of suspicious deaths in Afghanistan by a British SAS squadron in Helmand. And the Olympic star Samo Farah reveals he was trafficked into the UK as a child and forced to work as a domestic servant. Most people know me as Mo Farah, but it's not my name or it's not the reality. Hello and welcome back to BBC News. Well, they are the deepest and most detailed views of the universe we've ever seen and show light from galaxies that have taken billions of years to reach ours. NASA has just released more dramatic images taken from the world's most powerful telescope. The image over my shoulder is the southern ring and shows a planetary nebula caused by a dying star that, as NASA says, dispelled a large fraction of its mass in excessive ways. NASA says it can be seen in those images. And about 290 million light years away, there's this, the Stefan's Quintet, and it's located in the constellation Pegasus. This was the first picture released by NASA, which shows some galaxies that date back more than 13 billion years close to the dawn of time. Well, I've been speaking to Dr. Martin Barstow, Professor of Astrophysics and Space Scientists, uh, Science at the University of Leicester. Martin chaired the Space Telescope Institute Council, which oversees the operations of Webb. And also to Dr. Sarah Kendrew, who's an astronomer with the European Space Agency. They told me what they made of the dying star, first of all. Well, it's great to be 